How's it going YouTube? It's APOC and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to put everything into an immersive ML because why would you not want to put everything into immersive ML? It's incredible. I have a real basic project set up. I have a foreground perspective here and a background orthographic. I didn't do anything fancy besides just, you know, setting this up as a basic project. So you can just take a regular project and start from there. Open your Gen AI suite, import your immersive ML model. I already have the model trained here, so I can. you should see an import to project button. Click on that and let it import. It's gonna put it under that orthographic camera I had. If you don't have an orthographic camera, it's going to make one. Now, what you want to do is make an orthographic camera that is at the top. So in my case, I'm already using this one as the background. So I'm gonna to need to make another orthographic camera that can go on top. So let's go ahead and add in a camera, orthographic camera, and we'll call this top ortho. And we're gonna change the layer, we're gonna add a new layer, call that top ortho. Change the layer that it's rendering to top ortho. Make sure it's set to orthographic. And in my case, we have zero, one for our render orders. You can see down here. Uh, so this one needs to be render order two. So it's rendered after everything. Your immersive ML, in my case, was added to this orthographic camera. Take that full frame region that includes it and just drag it onto our new ortho here and then change its layer to our top ortho layer. Now, you can see that nothing's showing up that we've added. So my rubber duck and everything is not showing up. That's because we click on immersive ML effect. There's an input texture. Whatever is inputted here is what it outputs, but stylized. So you need to input a render target that is everything in your scene instead of just the device raw feed. And to do that, we have to add a new render target. So click on all your cameras that you want to render into this. Your render target here, click on it, add new, render target. We only need one new render target. So every camera, you see this one's render target one, we'll set it to render target. A render target, the original, we'll set this to render target one. Okay, and then we change our immersive ML's input texture to render target one. And it's really that easy, and that's it. So essentially, render everything that you want into this immersive ML into a render target that is not the default render target, as right now I don't think there's a way to change the capture and live render target. So that default render target is gonna be the one that's the final render. Uh, so that's what this one needs to render onto. So yeah, everything into one render target, put that as the input texture, and make sure this is rendering on top. Bob's your uncle. And after, actually, just to show you real quick, since we have this, uh, we can add a screen image over top of this. And it's not going to be part of the immersive ML. Make sure you, the layer is top ortho. So, you know, it's hard to tell. Let's add my image here. Whoops. Let's add my image here. You can see it's not being rendered. So you can put stuff on this one that you want on the top, like a brand logo or something like that. But yeah. It's basically just playing with render targets. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you know what you're doing, go to the comments and answer some questions. And if you guys want even faster support, head over to the Snap AR Discord, not sponsored by the way, but just head over to that Discord and you can ask your questions in there. I am in there. My name on that is Brandon slash APOC. You'll find me in there and I can help answer some of your questions. But also, there's a ton of people in there that can answer questions that even I can't answer. Like, I don't know much about 3D. So if you guys have 3D questions, you can't get something to import, drop it in that Discord because there's people that know what they're doing in there and they will help you out. So thank you guys for watching. See you all in the next video.